Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Candid Combos. Let me introduce myself. My name is Alina, and I am the marketing department uh, for Get Stuffed Up. Today, we have a very special guest. His name is David Sanchez. Welcome, David. Thanks for joining us. I am very excited to have you here. Hello, everybody. So excited it's very to nice here. to meet you, David. So, well, you know, David is a client of Get Stuffed Up. He runs a title company with an experienced and trustworthy team that handles and sales purchases for their clients. They are settled in South Florida and have over 10 years experience in what they do. David, can you please tell us a little bit more about yourself, about your professional journey, your career? Right now we we're running a title company, but for, for a very long time, I actually worked under an attorney. Uh, Enrique, as a matter of fact, you probably know that. Yes. Um, so I worked with him for a long time and, and essentially my, a lot of my background is through essentially the legal aspect of, of a title, which is more or less the same as, you know, title in of itself, but it's a little bit more nuanced, uh, than just the title company aspect of it. Um, and that's been pretty much the last, and like you mentioned, the last 10 years. Okay. So we're talking about like a very vast experience here, right? So um, what do you consider like the goal of your company? What I look to achieve with every file that I work on is essentially the, the buyer can come or, or the client can come to my office uh, and we can essentially take care of the whole file. They don't have to worry about, uh, you know, surveys or lean searches or, or the things that essentially you want to do whenever you're purchasing a property all the due diligence and all the, the things that you want to make sure are taken care of before you, you essentially make one of the biggest investments in your most people's lives, which is, you know, the purchase of real property. Um, and, and we do that, you know, and we try to make it as, as good as experience as possible, especially for a first time home buyer. Uh, you know, whenever you have, um, you know, somebody that's, you know, purchasing a property for the first time, you know, they're not, they haven't dealt with banks. They're not having, you know, a lot of the times is the first time they're interacting with a realtor. It's definitely the, probably the first time they're interacting with my office. So I think it's, it's key for us to kind of make it as easy a transition from, uh, you know, a lay person's view of purchasing a property to the actual closing table, you know? This is very interesting what you're saying. And I, and I assume that for getting them to feel this experience as easy as you want it to be, you could say that um, to complete this set goal or set of goals, even with the fact that you're amazingly prepared and have this whole experience, you you also need a team, you know, to fulfill these expectations. Am I right? Right. So I I know what I have to do, right? Um, I, as a title agent, I, I have the unique expertise to be able to examine a title of, of a real property and determine, you know, what needs to be done to have clear good marketable title. Um, a lot of the times what gets in the way of providing the kind of customer service and, and the kind of experience that we want to provide to, to the clients is just the busy work, you know, getting the things done that need to get done, you know, getting the orders, uh, you know, the searches ordered, uh, making sure there's good communication. Uh, that's, that's always key in a real estate transaction. Um, and having the team that backs you up that essentially frees you to be able to then uh you know be able to provide that that type of experience that you want to provide to the to the client that that to me is paramount um and through get stuffed up i was able to accomplish that you know i have a team member that i can you know i know that if i send him something he he gets it done i don't have to be on top of him i don't have to be uh, you know, monitoring everything that he does. I don't have to follow up a lot of the times, you know, he follows up with me, you know, which I, it, it makes my job a lot easier. Yeah. Um, you know, so that's, that's how I see the, you know, the implementation of having the get stuffed up team member uh, as being essentially pivotal for my business to, so that I can essentially provide the kind of service and the kind of, you uh, uh, the kind of experience that I want the clients to have. Mm -hmm. Right. So like you're saying, um, we know that as a client from Get Stuffed Up, which we know is mainly a virtual company and most people working here are international assistants. So 
as a client, you have, like you said, the spiritual assistant. Can you please share with us a little about it, like name, position, country of origin? We had several assistants. Uh, our main, my main processor and my main, essentially my right hand uh, man here at the, at the office, his name is Rex. Um, I, I'm, I'm not very good with the pronunciation of the last name. Um, I think it's pronounced Makalad, but I'm, I'm not a, don't quote me on that. Uh, he's from, uh, he's from the Philippines. So um, he, you know, I'm, I'm amazed that he can manage, you know, you know, having a different time, time, uh, you know, time zone and, and the different things that I throw at him. You know, a lot of the times I, I kind of almost, it's, it's almost like I, I test him, you know, to see what he can get done without me having to uh, kind of supervise, you know, to, to, you know, I, a lot of the times I like to kind of give him a challenge and, and, you know, if I have a new task that I need him done, I, I you just tell him, listen, this is try and get this done. Um, you know, see if you can figure it out. If you can't figure it out, come and get me. And, and a lot of the times he, he gets it done. You know, I don't, I don't have to give any, any additional instruction. Uh, we have a good working relationship. You know, this is something that's kind of built up over the years and, you know, I've, we've been working together for a couple of years now. Um, so he kind of knows what, you know, what it is that I'm looking for a lot of the times and, and, uh, you know, that I, that he, that I have his back if, you know, something comes up. Um, but he's, you know, like I said, I, I couldn't have, uh, the kind of business that I have without his support. I just, it wasn't, it wouldn't be possible. I would essentially be too busy doing the thing that I need to do in order to be able to provide the service and be able to provide, uh, the kind of work that not only I want to provide, but that the kind of experience that would, I believe in this market makes me competitive, you know, because it's, it's, um, it's not an easy business, you know, especially now that it's when, when um, there's a lot of buyers and, and there's a lot of movement going on. Yeah. And like what you were saying, um, it's about delegating, like Rex permits you delegate stuff or activities or things to do. So you can concentrate on when you, on what you need to concentrate. Right. And exactly. And that that like, is, that's key for me. Uh, yeah. if, if I, again, if I'm tied up doing something else, then, uh, you know, I can't, I can't use my time to either, again, provide the service that I want to provide or, you know, improve the business. You know, if I want to take on a project to, you know, impl implement something new that I want to uh, try out for the business, you know, that, that obviously that takes time. It takes trial and error. It takes me being, having to take time from something else and, and having to, you know, invest it in, in that project. And I wouldn't be able to do that if I had the kind of, if I didn't have the kind of support that I have. Uh, through you guys with with Rex, um, so I you know I I can't be thankful enough thankful enough uh, for the kind of work that he does and I know I, I try to make it obvious to him and you know make it known, uh, but um, but yeah I, I don't know what else to say to be honest I, I uh, uh, it's definitely it's definitely something that I don't think uh, I don't think we would be where we are now if if we didn't have his his help. Yeah, we're glad you, you're liking what Rex is doing for you. So um, do you think, and this is a very important question, David, do you think that he is bringing an added value to your company? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, he okay. does, he does what, what I ask of him and he, and more, you know, I don't, you know, it, it's, it's difficult to kind of, um, uh, to, to kind of give a good idea without like specific examples. You know, if I, you know, if there's a challenge on a commitment, for example, a commitment essentially in, in the title term is, is kind of the things that need to happen in order to get to the point where you can close and actually purchase the property. And usually it has a list of things that need to be done in order to get to that point, you know, and, and if I have a new file that comes in, that's kind of a little bit outside the box that, you know, it, it's something different that we haven't dealt with in the past, you know, I'll generally, you know, tell Rex, hey, listen, uh, for this particular file, let's do, you know, X, you know, this, uh, this particular thing um, on this file. Um, and, you know, he, he, he goes on and he, he takes care of it. You know, a lot of the times I don't have to tell him further, you know, where to reach out to, who to, who to contact or anything like that. He knows what to do. And the next time that I get a similar file, 
I, I don't have to tell him anything. He just goes about his business and he does it. And, um, you know, that kind of stuff, that, that, that's something that uh, to a degree you can teach, but a lot of the times is, is, is something you have to kind of have, you know, almost innate, you know, something you have to be, you were born with, you know, the, the want to, to, to kind of take on that, that role onto your, yourself, you know? Um, and I believe that I'm lucky enough that I have somebody like Rex that, that has that, you know, that, that I don't have to, uh, you know, com you know, at all times, you know, provide specific instructions of what needs to be done. You know, he knows what to do and he, he, he goes with it. And you can say it's a mix of, uh, talent and that he's also a fast learner, right? Absolutely. Yeah. He's a fast learner and, and not only a fast learner, he's a, you know, he kind of gets the concept, right? So he understands the, the underlying principle. And I've seen that he sometimes, you know, he tries to apply it to a, to a similar issue. So if you have an issue, you know, down the road, uh, that's somewhat related to the one that, that we had before, he'll try to kind of apply the same principle to that, to that, you know, that issue and he'll run it by me, you know, and if, uh, a lot of the times, like I said, I'm surprised by the the kind of, uh, you know, the kind of feedback that I get from him, you know, because I, you know, I'm impressed, to be honest. Uh, I don't know how else, I don't know how else to describe it. But, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, like I said, it, it's like having, uh, it's like having, uh, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Um, sometimes it's like it's reading my mind, you know, <laughs> he knows what I want before I even ask it. Uh, so yeah. Well, we are very, very happy to hear this. So after this experience that we can agree you're saying that you're having very good results, um, are you planning on hiring more staff remotely? Are you looking forward to it maybe? Uh, there are a couple of things that I, I want to uh, implement and, and I've, we've been wanting to implement uh, for the business. Um, you know, we had a bit of a curveball thrown at us last year with uh, with everything going on, that kind of um, was a bit of a, a change for, for the industry, you know, because a lot of the business that we do is face to face. Uh, you know, to, you can get some of the work done electronically, but, you know, at, at some point, somebody's got to sit down with the buyer or the seller and, and get documents signed, you know. Um, depending on the transaction, we've gotten to the point where things can be done electronically, but again, it's still a, you know, face to face interaction at some point. Um, so we had, again, we had some challenges last year. So I think that kind of put us back, but it, it's in the, you know, it's definitely in the books to, to have a, additional team members added to the, um, to the office, um, either under Rex, you know, because obviously, you know, he, he does a wonderful job and, you know, I don't, I don't have any complaints. But he's still one person, you know, so the, the more volume that we get, the more help that he's going to need in order to get some of the stuff done. Um, so, yeah, I, I, it's something that I definitely have in mind. I, I don't want to burn him out, so to speak, you know, so if we need to bring in an additional person, uh, I, like I said, even if it's just to work under him and just kind of help him out with some of the some of the menial stuff, uh, that's definitely something in the works, you know, that we, we're also thinking about. Uh, you know, adding an additional team member for a different aspect of, of the closing process. That's not necessarily, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's something that's just, again, it's just a lot of busy work um, that, that kind of takes me away from the things that I want to be doing. Yeah, totally. And still under this same topic of, like you're saying, working remotely and surely after what happened with the COVID, which is a very relevant point for discussion nowadays, this originated a virtual rearrangement of how we used to make things like you mentioned, right? What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, it, I mean, we, nobody could have anticipated, you know, what went down. It, it, it just so happens that when it did go down, essentially we were set up in such a way that, uh, you know, the, you know, the engine of my business, which is essentially the processing and, you know, doing all the things that lead up to the closing, is something that could that was being done remotely, you know. So I didn't have to worry about, um, you know, having an additional team member, you know, here in the office, worry about their safety, worry about my safety, uh, the safety of the clients and 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 everybody else, because I know that, you know, he himself, you know, is probably working from home and he's also being safe uh, and keeping everybody around him safe by by doing so, you know. So it, it's definitely. 
uh, a plus in that regard. You know, it kind of gave me some some peace of mind, which which I also value a lot. You know, the, 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 not have to you know worry about um, you know whether somebody's gonna get sick or or something like that. I have enough things to worry about with just you know closing transactions as they are. Yeah, totally. Like you mentioned, this um, this situation brought like a big crisis, but for another point of view, it opened a whole new branch for opportunities, like for for working remotely, and what this can bring as a strength yeah. to your yeah, company. Yeah, once uh, I think that uh, for at least for my business, um, you know, everybody's a little bit different, but for my business, I think once the the financial institutions, the banks, you know, get on board with uh, some of the electronic notarization and, and the things that kind of that are still done on on a face to face uh, type interaction. Once they catch up with the time, so to speak, I think we'll we'll probably see uh, you know this kind of model be a little bit more more prevalent. You know, I think as it is now, it, it's, it's it makes a lot of business sense and it makes a lot of a lot of sense in general. You know, for to have this kind of model. Uh, moving forward, at least it did for me at the time, and it still does for me. It does even more now. Uh, everything that's with everything that's going on. Um, but yeah, and the hope is that you know once that leap or that you know we make that that jump to the the new system, then you know we'll be able to bring in additional people that that can help. Um, you know. Yeah, what is it you're saying? Do you believe that you and your company have adapted to this situation well? I think we're more. I think we're more resilient to to these kind of changes because of the way that we're structured. Um, I think. I think we've essentially we've adapted. I mean, one of the benefits that we have is um, we're we're a smaller company, so we're a little bit more agile. You know, we can kind of make changes on the fly. We don't have to, you know, go through meetings and 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 different things to kind of make the changes that we need to to make the business successful. Um, but also having that additional member that, you know, uh, again, that I don't have to worry, I don't, I don't necessarily need to have here at the office, you know, he, he's essentially working remotely. Uh, it gives me an added flexibility that, you know, a lot of the times I don't have, you know, with some of my other team members, you know, I have to consider, you know, can they make it into the office? Is it safe for them to make it into the office? Um, you know, and, and for, for a period of time, you know, that wasn't the case. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's definitely, it's definitely, it's been a plus and, and a blessing in disguise for sure. Yeah, totally. And also this places you ahead of many companies that are struggling due to this COVID situation. So, so yeah, um, I just wanted to end this meeting asking you if you would recommend having online staff like virtual staff assistants, would you recommend it? I would absolutely recommend it. I, I absolutely recommend it to anyone that, you know, that, you know, I usually, whenever I interact with uh, a lot of realtors uh, and I have a lot of interactions with, and, you know, they kind of tell me the same thing that they're overwhelmed with the emails and things. And, you know, the first thing I tell them, listen, have you considered having a, you know, an assistant that can help you and, and you, you know, your name comes up. Um, so I, I, it's, I, I firmly believe that this is the way of the future and, and I think you guys do a good job. I think you you hire quality people. Um, you know, it, it's not easy. You know, one thing is having somebody that work remotely. Another thing is having the right person totally work remotely. Um, and I think you guys do a good job at that. Um, you know, it, it's not easy hiring. Hiring is not easy. I can I can attest to that. Uh, and I could I, I, I would think that would be, you know, many times more difficult to do that, you know, on a remote basis, you know. Uh, but um, again, I haven't, I don't have any complaints. Um, you know, Rex, he's awesome. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm immensely thankful for it. David, thank you very much for your time, for joining me in this interview. I'm so glad you had a chance. We surely Thank want you. to know more about you and your company. So um, please tell us how can people contact you? Um, we have a website, uh, viscayatitle.com. Uh, we also have a Facebook um, account. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I don't do the social media stuff. So I'm probably not the best person for that, but I'm sure it's Vizcaya title or, or something. To that effect. Um, and we also have an Instagram. I, my, I also believe we also have an Instagram as well. 
Um, but the website is kind of our, our hub uh, for the moment. Um, okay. And I want to thank you for, you know, for reaching out to us. Uh, Alina, thank you very much. Uh, and say hi to, you know, everybody over there for me. Sure. Perfect. Alrighty. Once again, thank you very much. It was nice meeting you, David. All right. Thank you. Take care. Thank you, everybody, as well, for watching another episode of Candid Combos. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.